Well, Steve, we've watched Paula Radcliffe for very many, many years. We've watched her uh, in her ups and we've seen her with downs. In recent years, we've seen a glorious series of efforts over the marathon. The thing about Paula, she'll never give up on it. She always wants it. She always wants a bit more. If that's enough. Her Olympic dream is over. What a sad sight. She's, she's been through so much these last few weeks. Things haven't gone her way, and today it really has been not what she wanted. That is so cruel for Paula. Well, not surprisingly, she tried again, 36 kilometers. She couldn't go any further. She didn't want to give up. She doesn't give up. Paula Radcliffe doesn't quit races. And there she is. Oh, what an awful sight. What a real disappointment. And there's Paula Radcliffe. Her Olympic dream is absolutely shattered. I just wonder whether we'll ever see her again in the Olympic Games. Paula at the front, whittling them down one by one. Paula Radcliffe under pressure. Paula Radcliffe clearly struggling. Stay with us, please. Don't give up on Paula just yet. Paula Radcliffe stopped on the roadside, that's enough, her Olympic dream is over, what a sad sight. I feel so sorry for her, I really, really do. Nine laps to go, she'll work for it though, she's determined to finish this one. Dropping out of the marathon was something that Paula Radcliffe just does not do, she does not drop out of races. Aren't she stopping? Paula Radcliffe has stepped off the track. Why am I doing this to myself? Broken-hearted Paula Radcliffe. Losing my mind on a tiny... How many more agonies do we have to go through with Paula? No, 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 no. She's clearly in trouble, clearly distressed. Her Olympic dream is over. What a sad sight. I just feel like everyone else does. Paula, you haven't let anybody down at all. It's a sad sight to see such a great athlete struggling in such a way. Finishes the job she wasn't able to do in 2004. There were never going to be any medals today. It was all about a personal battle. Sad, isn't it, that uh, Paula will uh, miss out on the chance to win uh, Olympic gold? It really is sad, you know, she's been one of our all-time greats. She's had four goes at the Olympic Games. The first two were promising. The last two were very, very sad. Both awful to witness and be part of. And, you know, all I wanted from Paula this time was to, was to see her come to the Olympic Games in one piece, you know, and just actually have a decent run. I never thought she could win a medal this time because it's been too, too long since she was a, that class of a, a marathon runner. But to have a chance to run in London where she's where she's done so, so many fantastic performances. And I, I mean, I really feel for Paula. She's been sweating on this decision over the last three or four weeks. It's been slipping away from her. Her dream's been slipping away. And now she's, um, she's not going to be able to do it. And that's uh, it's a sad end. She was so close. She was fourth in Sydney, you know, 12 years ago. She had a real chance in Athens. But, you know, she'll be so sad but her record, when you look at it, it'll say Commonwealth European World Champion and it'll say four times in the Olympic Games. She wasn't able to do herself justice, really. I just hope this isn't the last time we've ever seen Paula running because, and I just think it's a, it's a very, very sad day. And I, I'm really, really, I'm really emotional about it because it's been great. It's been really great. She certainly has. Thanks uh, very much, Brendan. I'll leave you to enjoy what seems like a bit of a party going on behind you. It's quite fun, that beach volleyball.